So this weekend we are headed back down to Stockton Lake. We're actually going to Harker Point Campground this time, which we've been there before, but it's been probably a couple years ago, and we've never camped on the electric side, so we're going to check that out. Um, Tammy's going to pick up our grandson here in the near future, and we're going to head that direction, so it should be a good time. So in the past, we've never really shown this final stages of getting ready and getting the trailer hooked up. So I figured this morning we'd kind of take a look at that. One thing we've found is that it's always a good idea to have some sort of a routine and to not get in a hurry. So as long as we kind of take our time, everything usually goes pretty well. That being said, we have had one mishap this morning already. Uh, as you can see, we had a chair somehow go through the screen of our fantastic fan. Anyhow, it's easy to replace and not very expensive, so that's not that big a deal. All right, so our normal routine is that Tammy will do all the loading up the trailer inside the garage where it's cool. Then we bring it outside and everything else is up to me out here in the heat. And I will tell you what, this weekend looks like it is definitely going to be a hot one. Uh, let's see if we can see this. So yeah, when it says hot and hot, that's typically not a good thing. Looks like there's gonna be a whole lot of time in the water this weekend. So you can also see how we typically load the camper. This is pretty much full and most everything else will end up going into the car. So about the only other things left out here are to fill our water tank, attach the cooler to the front, and then go ahead and hook the trailer up to the car. I think everybody is loaded up and getting ready to go. Say we are ready to go, Grandpa. All right, the last thing I like to do right before we leave is always walk around the trailer just to make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. Check the hitch. Everything's good there. Check the doors. back doors. And that's all. And I always just look underneath just to make sure there's nothing there. I think we're good to go. I think we're in number 16. B16? Uh, A16, I think. A uh, show? I don't remember if it was A or B. It was right. It's B16? Electric. You have just the one car? Yes. Yep. All right. Yep. Park 
park down by the boat ramp and there's a place to get in the water or do something. Okay. Yeah. What time I, is Chuck? Not till six. Till six? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, most people leave early. Like I said, I, I had 20 leave today and I only got three that I worked until. Okay. I was down there a while ago and it's still like a half. All right. So you might have a few hours to kill. So okay. If you need to go in town and get groceries or anything you need to get All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the typical camper complaint is that the checkout times are too early in the day, so you have to get out of there real early. Well, we're facing just the opposite right now, actually, because checkout time here is six, and it's now 3.30, so now we're killing time waiting for the people to leave the site. decided that we're gonna go ahead and run to town, get gas. We got a couple things to get since it's extremely hot outside and we are waiting. So we'll check back in when we get back around here. Right. Well, it's a quarter after five and we're still waiting on our site. So hopefully in the next 45 minutes, we will be able to get to it. So we made it to the site at about five till six. Anyway, we're setting up and as much as I did a walk around or whatever else, the one thing I did forget was our toolbox, which I think we're pretty good other than the ratchet that I typically use to jack up the leveler. So I did have a multi-tool in the glove box, so we're doing going that route to uh, try to level this uh, camper. So we got a little bit of a late start this morning. We were up, it is, I don't know, after nine, I think, for some reason. Anyhow, 
Uh, this morning, I think we're gonna fix some breakfast, get the paddle boards aired up real quick, and then probably get out on the water because it's already starting to get a little warm.